Hello, welcome to the Magician's Manor. My name is Jamal, aka the Dark Magician. Please come in and have a seat. Today, I just want to do a quick little video about kind of an epidemic I've seen on YouTube. And it seems like lately people are just like throwing accusations at each other, like arguing, you know, kind of the YouTube -y stuff. But now, what's going on is like people are asking for proof, aka receipts. And you know what? I'm not mad um, at this. Here's the reason why. When you put out accusations on people, accusing them of things, some big, some small, the burden on proof rely, relies on you. You know, you have to prove what you're saying. So this is where the receipts come into play. Now, some receipts are good, some receipts are bad. Like, I'll use an example. Some people do not like clip channels. And the reason why they don't like clip channels is because some of them, not all, do not provide context. They'll provide, you know, maybe a voice note, you know, maybe an email, maybe, you know, screen grabs of chats. That's great and all, but the problem is if you don't add the context, things can get misconstrued, which is not good for the per person you are, you know, accusing because they deserve to have the full story out, not just bits and pieces. And that's where things go wrong. I mean, lately all around YouTube, people will like will put, do a live and just put out receipts. And that's and it's and it's good. It's good, but they're not telling the whole story, which is not fair to the person they're accusing. You know, whether you like the person or not, everyone should be treated fairly in in the argument because Putting out half information can lead to um, bigger situations because they're like, oh, they have the proof, so they must be telling the truth. And people don't look at it as a half truth, which is most of the time it is. They look at it as the whole truth. And that's not the whole truth. My philosophy is this. Don't believe only one side of the story, you know, even if you don't like the person. You see one side, you go to the other side, see what they have to say and see, you know, if they can come together and you can say, okay, I see this side, I see this side. The truth lies somewhere in the middle, which it normally does. You know, we all say that there's three sides to the truth. Yours, mine, no, there's three sides to every story. Yours, mine, and the truth. <laughs> so that's the way it is. That's the way it should be done. Lately, I've seen people doing lives talking about, I got the receipts, I got the receipts. I'm like, okay, fantastic. But I'm like, well, um, the bulk of this is redacted, including like the stuff they're using as proof. I kid you not, like they'll redact the name. That's completely fine. Redacting the name is perfect. You need to protect people's identity. I understand that. But when you go in, you're redacting out certain words within the, the text that you're showing and using as proof. I'm like, that doesn't work for me. That does not work for me. I need to see the whole message because the whole message is the context itself. Like, you know, you taking your words is not context. me. This That's partial context. And in order to get a full scope, you need everything. And it's, it, that's bad to say in some cases because you really don't want to air people out. But then again, you know, you this is being put out there for public consumption and as proof. So full proof needs to be shown. And also, I want to advise people not to quickly jump on bandwagons if, just because you don't like someone. You know, take a step back, take a breath, and say, like, okay, this person is saying this. Based on what they're telling me, this seems logical or this makes sense. But then you kind of have to go to the other side because you have to hear what they have to see to see what they're saying, if what their proof lines up, if that makes sense. And if both sides makes sense logically that you have to come to the conclusion in my opinion that that truth is like midway as i was saying before you know try to give people the benefit of the doubt even if you don't like them because you would want the same done to you again don't take solo screenshots as proof that's not proof that's not full context always always look for full context Receipts are great. They're a great um, tool. They're a great resource. But look for the context. And also you have to consider the source. I mean, like, if you know someone doesn't like someone else, nine times out of ten, they're not going to paint the person they don't like in the best light. So you also have to take into account who's giving the receipts. Like, you know, say the creator, you know, say, like, well, you know, 
I just got this um, this email and it's letting me know X, Y, and Z. That's all well and good. But in back of my mind, I'm wondering, like, well, who sent you that and why? You have to, you know, look at the why. I'm a big why person. My friend Zali gets real. She says, like, you always have to look at the five W's. Who, what, when, where, why. Um, or four W's, five W's. It's some kind of W's. <laughs> but that's what she goes by. And you also have to look like who benefits the most about these receipts being put out. Like, you know, is it the person who's putting out the receipts? Is the person, is it the person who sent the receipts? Like, you know, you have to factor in all this stuff. I know it's YouTube, I know it's entertainment, I know it's supposed to be fun. But when you get down to these situations and people are hurling accusations left or right, you need to do your due diligence, do your own research. I can't preach that enough. Do your own research. Be open minded, you know. Look at look at everything because you know you're gonna you're gonna miss stuff here and there. But if you go back and watch some of the lives, and I do them like at on one point five speed, just so I can get through them and so I can see everything I can possibly see relating to the particular accusation or particular argument, it really really helps. And you'll you'll learn that people will people will cherry pick, you know facts. Now, whether it's on purpose or by accident, I try to give people the benefit of the doubt that's on accident, but based on what I'm seeing across YouTube, I'm like, no, you purposely did that. So that's why you have to watch everything and everyone with an open mind. That being said, I'll end on, I'll end on this note. Please do not take singular screenshots as the full truth and total context. Have a great weekend. Magician out.